so on today's video I'm traveling to North Cumbria which is a uh, lake district and uh, just to stop for a break here this coffee shop I mean uh, <laughs> not a coffee shop this uh, area where everybody stops and uh, just got some uh, Costa coffee and a chicken fajita. It's quite tasty actually, uh, but the place is really packed. There's so many people. I decided to sit outside for a few minutes. Um, I'm wearing my mask as usual and uh, we'll keep you updated on the progress as we get to uh, Lake District. So I'm traveling in this car. Now I really wonder how <laughs> I'm gonna get into the farm uh, with this car because uh, the place that I booked, it's a, it's a farm and uh, this car is quite big and low but I think it's got, I think I can pump up the suspension a little bit I'm also, I'm traveling with my mom Hello! <laughs> and we're going to uh, have to put a, the tents up once we get there um, so that's gonna be a job for sure the car is full and uh, we're still here, just finished our sandwich and coffee. This is the place where we stopped. It's really packed. And uh, if anybody wondering why I keep using my mask, it's because uh, I had a transplant many moons ago and uh, I take immunosuppressants. And uh, those immunosuppressants um, reduce my immune system. And as a result, I keep wearing a mask and just looking after myself because uh, it, it has been shown that um, in many patients um, the vaccines haven't worked properly so um, better be safe I'm sorry and uh, that's why I keep wearing a mask um, of course it doesn't affect everyone the same way some patients have contracted the virus and been okay but I'd rather not take the chance so anyway um, we're gonna continue now the trip we are not, about an hour away still from uh, this place we have to get to which is a lake district and uh, we'll be uh, recording as we go along <laughs> so uh, do follow us so the journey began in London which is all the way down here and we're driving all the way up there and uh, that is at least five hours driving and uh, this is where we are at at the moment so not too far now but there has been a lot of traffic a lot of accidents on the m6 um, a lot of issues and we've been driving very slowly so it can take some time for sure so now we have to get there and this is showing me another hour at least to get there. To speak, my mom is having a fight with all the food back there. She is uh, trying to take, take the prawns out so we can cook something tonight. And uh, we're gonna try to barbecue some prawns and some chicken this evening if we can arrive there and build our tent in time. <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't rain on us. So the weather has been really at the moment it's actually quite warm as we speak so it's time to go we're gonna be leaving now but I will not be filming much because it's now illegal to hold the phone and drive so um, <laughs> uh, we'll see you at the campsite
stopped for some fuel. It's my mom there. Just waiting at the fuel station. Uh, it's 1 pound 84 per liter. So I just fueled up 85 pounds. <laughs> that was for half a tank. And uh, we have 27 minutes to go. Um, 13 miles to arrive according to the map there. So I'm just waiting for the car in front to move. Hopefully we can get going before it gets too late. So we're just arriving at the campsite, but uh, it seems to be about three miles of this uh, tiny little road here. So coming on a smaller car might be better <laughs> and also a lot easier to drive when you encounter other vehicles coming the opposite way. And also you need to be really careful, there's lots of uh, sheep around some kind of lamb, lamb or something um, now we are about half a mile from the site and I hope we are going the right way to be honest <laughs> it seems to be very uh, I don't know very strange but also very beautiful views around here. Really nice to drive along these, uh, these areas. The nature is uh, all over the place. Turn left, then turn right. So have to turn left somewhere, then turn right. And we're almost there, sort of.
So there is uh, right. one of those right in the way. Now we turn right here. Half a mile we arrive at the place. I think I'm just gonna double check we're going to the correct place in a minute. What is it? This is done. The roads here are very very skinny so a skinny car will be <laughs> advisable. <laughs> However, it depends what, what you're carrying as well. Because if you're bringing a tent, a gazebo, mattresses, food, fridge, then you do, you do need a car that fits all those things. So in the end, we had to call the owner to guide us into the campsite because we got lost. And uh, now we're following. They were uh, kind enough to come and pick us up. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be there in a minute. It's nearly six o'clock already. This is a little bit like the jungle. Turn left. Turn left. The navigation is uh, guiding us, but I don't know where. <laughs> All right, turn left here. I already raced the car, by the way. Slow children, ducks and dogs. So, we have arrived. Now we're going to unpack and we're going to start building the, uh, the tent. Um, as soon as we can. It's already 5.30 so we're gonna build just here next to that one, that one there. This is more or less a place. There are some wild animals around, some nice views and uh, apparently there was another way in um, not the way that we came in which was quite complicated very very thin roads and uh, when you're driving a car like this it's a bit wide um, and as you can see I raised the suspension 
so the car is a little bit high at the moment uh, nevertheless I'm gonna start building the tent now and uh, that will be on the next video so just follow